side. Shops with a left hand and a sweeping right hand. Missed with that one. But Provodnikov on the attack. Connected that time and scored the knockdown. 20 step on the scale. He weighed in at an official 146 and one half pounds. And as a professional, he maintains a record consisting of 22 victories against one lone defeat, with 15 of those victories coming by way of knockout. From Berezovo County, Mansi, Russia, the Siberian Rocky, Ruslan Robotnikov. He enters wearing black with white trim. He weighed in at an identical 146 and one half pounds. He enters the ring, an undefeated fighter with 29 victories, 12 KOs, and one no contest. His previous performance catapulted him to boxing superstardom. And tonight, he defends his WBO World Welterweight Championship. The four-time world champion, representing Palm Springs, California, Desert Storm, Timothy Bradley. Veteran referee Pat Russell in the ring. And here comes Provodnikov. Trying to get low and get into a position where he can simply get it Bradley's body. Bradley came to the point of saying it's an athletic style. He can some way or another in the fight. He's not really a boxer puncher. He's not. He's definitely brawler. He's not really. He always wins. <laughs> With some better craft than Tebow. <laughs> fight of his career and then get treated the way that he was treated. Bradley tries, I think, to be a boxer puncher, but just isn't a big puncher. Um, but he does hit hard enough to keep guys honest. And he's a pit bull. You know, he once he locks on, try to shake him loose. Giving as good as he gets in that exchange. Seconds of the fight were mostly Bradley. Watch the heads. And a couple of good body shots and one big knock upstairs. In the last 45 seconds, there's another left hook. There's Bradley's left hook, twice in a row. This for real, two pit bulls. <laughs> well, Pro Provodnikov has to have that in him, or else Freddie Roach wouldn't have used him as a sparring partner getting Pacquiao ready for Bradley. That's exactly right. Real good action. Talk about uh, an honest guy and a real man. Ruslan Provodnikov's only loss was to Mauricio Herrera. A lot of ringsiders felt as though it was a bad decision and he won the fight. Provodnikov says, no, no, that's not true. Don't take credit away from Herrera. Oh. He outsmarted me and Big won right it. hand. Big right hand by Provodnikov. And Bradley get up, get up. is not going to be charged with a knockdown. And even though he falls get up, back get up. Come here. Right? on his back You're while trying to... To win that fight, Provodnikov's a good puncher. He was knocked down once early and once late against Holt, and he has been ripped by Provodnikov in the last 30 seconds of the first round, and I think... Put him to sleep, Roy. Yeah, sure, but Timothy Bradley has one good chin on him. We already knew that. Happy box numbers in round one. What a round. Bradley, 27 of 70 in the last minute of the round. Came out in that first round with something to prove, and it may have worked against him. Little lateral foot movements, keeping Bradley out of trouble here. But now he gets rocked again by right hand. And he's hurt again. He's trying to fight his way through it and taking another right hand and still standing up. Bradley has no answer for that little looping right hand on the inside, Roy. Yes, he does. He got his own right hand. hand. Another right hand lands for Provodnikov. They are trading shots. Balls. That's what a fight. And it's some of his own right hands, too. Provodnikov that time. Left hook lands for Provodnikov. Gets Bradley into the corner. Stalking, stalking. Bradley firing shots of his own. He should be fighting straight up in that corner like that. Oh, though. oh. Neither man is hard to find. Bradley eats another big left hand. Huge shot. 
And that's another slip. No knockdown. As Provodnikov tried to fly at it. But it's Provodnikov that's doing the hurting here. And Bradley at standing up straight, Roy. Yeah, he's getting hurt because he's standing so straight up. I don't like to see him standing this straight up. He's, he's really out on his feet right now. It yep. appears that if it's going to be a phone booth One fight, shot finish Provodnikov him. is the stronger man. Yep. By standing straight up, he's also a sitting duck for the sweeping left hook. That's exactly right. And Provodnikov is getting hurt too, though. Provodnikov is hurt himself right now. Trust me. What a fight. Both of these guys are hurt right now. Oh, there goes Bradley. Both fighters are badly hurt right now. 20 seconds left in the round. Can Provodnikov find the answer to getting Bradley off his feet? Bradley has no legs. Provodnikov misses twice. And he's gonna make it out of the round. Box numbers in the round. Bradley 28 out of 80. Provodnikov 38 out of 97. Provodnikov with a big edge and power shots. Now here comes Bradley as the third round begins. Get late where everybody gets tired. He has more heart in so And more stamina. Uh, so a late fight is great for him. His trainer had told him to go. The heart, he's got an advantage. But that's his best opportunity because this guy is so strong. But Provodnikov has not been it. He can have the biggest heart now he seems to be, Yeah, but now he seems to be settling back down to himself. And what, worry about boxing. And Bradley is still down for Ruslan Provodnikov. Probably trying to look for one big shot. Hasn't found it. Bradley realized that Provodnikov is arm weary and isn't throwing and takes advantage of all this to step up his own and begin to score. And this is the time that uh, Matt lived or knocked out already. <laughs> as Provodnikov is landing. And Provodnikov looked like he's one. He is. <laughs> oh, he's still there. Desert Storm for no reason. A clear leading round. Only landed two punches in that round. Bradley was 21 of 56. Harold, how did you score the first three? <laughs> okay, Jim. I've got a two rounds to one. 29 28. Ruslan Provodnikov. He, he clearly won the first two rounds. Great rounds. Timothy Bradley won the first two rounds. Provodnikov just looked up. Was was a, a mo several moments away from being stopped. I mean, out on his oh. feet. He takes very well. Pat Russell. Pat him up. Good body shot. Rebutnikov still doesn't seem in a position to pull the trigger here. Three hands, three him up. Hands, watch your heads. Three hands. Rebutnikov catches Bradley again. Great right hands. Provodnikov is a serious puncher when he does punch. Side C. Bradley leans on his right foot and provides a sit. Oh, good shot. Good uppercut by Bradley. Follows up with the right hand. Good body shots by Timothy Bradley. Face now. That's another right with that punch. And limit the impact. They don't have the same steam on them as they had before, Jim. Stop the bell. Oh, good shot. Good body work. Excellent body rally at the end of the round. Seven punches, landing 48 of them. Provodnikov was only 12 of 37. It was dictating to him based on those huge power shots he landed repeatedly. The longer the fight goes, the better it is for Tim Brown. Sting off Provodnikov's punches on the inside. He gets inside the power a little bit, Roy, it looks like. And then on the outside, he keeps his distance. And he's making Provodnikov keep his hands at home by throwing this. The right hand for Bradley. Oh, good, good hook for Bradley. Hook. You gotta realize, too, though, Bradley has a nine power with advantage right now. So his punches, know, punches have to be uh, having some effect on Provodnikov. I think he's slowing Provodnikov down round to round. Punches he's doing up. it with body shots, with greater activity, with carefully chosen shots upstairs, fighting much smarter than he did in the first couple of rounds. Much smarter. He's fighting with the typical Timothy Bradley will that just refuses to give. And refuses to lose. I told Provodnikov it was going to be this hard. Oh. 
He's like he's in there with a termite that won't stop biting. <laughs> Series of uppercuts by Bradley as they once again go into a phone booth. Right hand lands again. A good shot. Real gaudy and Provodnikov is hurt from that punch. Hurt him. His We've seen a strong rally by Timothy Bradley. In rounds three, four, and five, after he Bradley in the fifth round threw 118 punches after he had thrown more than 100 in the preceding round. He landed 47 of them. Provednikov was 19 of rounds, throwing more than 100 punches in both rounds, and landing hitting so easily on his hard punches. Good body shot. And his mother Kathleen were seated at ringside. You caught a glimpse of them at the end of the first round. Since then, they have left their front row seats appeared from where they were sitting in the arena. Maybe it was a, it was a little violent. Oh, good shot. I'll push. Somebody should go find mom and wife. He's throwing some hard, hard shots. Ability to throw and throw and throw. He's wearing Provodnikov down. It sure is. When Evander Holyfield was in his prime, you hit him and hurt him, you'd see that mouthpiece come out, and that meant you were in trouble. <laughs> and, and kind of guy. Timothy Bradley's boxing very smartly. Oh. Here comes Robotnikov again, and he caught Bradley with that right hand again. Oh. Yeah, he's hurt again. Yeah, his back he's was to us. Bad. We can't see what landed. Yeah, oh. oh, another right hand. Another right hand. You don't need to be trained like this. Look at this. Look at this. Provodnikov's trying to take his measure. I mean, <laughs> whoa. What is Timothy out on his feet doing that? I'll tell you what, it's not the biggest crowd I've ever seen, but it's the luckiest crowd I've ever seen who expected to see what he's seen so far. Jim, three rounds apiece, 57-57, all even. Ruslan Provendikov definitely won the first two rounds. That back, he just stands there and takes it. He is a man of grace. And I'm being told by the producers in our truck that between rounds, Joel Diaz, Timothy Bradley's trainer, threatened to stop the fight if Bradley wouldn't listen to him. He said, you are not paying attention to what I'm telling you, and if you keep taking these... He was moving left and right to not allow Provodnikov to set. He be, he stopped. Yeah, but I don't think for a second, thinks for a second that Diaz is going to stop the fight. Not right. Provodnikov might be able to stop it. If he can land another one of those crunching right hands or left hooks, which have had Bradley in trouble several times. Well, Diaz is right because fighters pay lip service. They're going to have to take me out in a stretcher to beat me. But, and he has way too much heart for one. He got more heart than the average person. Well, it's a fast scorecard is even through six. Both are working hard. Pat Russell is going, looking at both fighters to see if one or the other is too compromised to keep going. It was the first round, by the way, that Bradley went in. The first round, and he's been five since. And the second. <laughs> Stop the bell. Good jab. Good jab. Right, Roy is Provodnikov moving up from 140 pounds. He's the guy who is new to the welterweight division here. His numbers in the seventh. Bradley 73, Provodnikov 15 out of 36. Rally down the stretch of the round. The, in the corner between the previous rounds. Why? Um, skill instead of power. Two angles on him. Would you really stop the fight? No, he would do if you stop the fight. You know what happened before he gets in there and gets hurt? If he comes to the, he's hurt, I will not throw him in there. I don't want him to, to let him sit. Counter off of him. Don't let him work. A lot of the talk in this fight, a lot of the taunting and, and the competitive talk up was done by the trainer. Freddy Roach and Joel Diaz. The Under the eye. So the Diaz. But Provodnikov is pretty swollen up now. His face is starting to show just from Timothy Bradley. I could conceivably swell up as the fight goes. Counterclockwise. Did more punches. 
single best way to get across with judges the way the sport is currently viewed. And Timothy corner. Bradley right now is following the formula, throwing and landing more punches, particularly in the last couple of rounds, as he tries to put distant on a few occasions. Punches. Call that a walking knock. Crowd is beginning to chant for Tim Bradley. Fans, ahead, Tim. get whacked. Get his body much at all. And Bradley has hit his far more. Because he's so strong. That's a the big difference in the fight. Yeah, that's the smartest way to break a strong guy down is to beat his body. Bradley just brought blood from Provodnikov's left eye. He might have opened up that eyelid, which you saw was he so did, He did, it's bleeding. And not and, a butt. And we heard Freddie Roach concerned that, that, he, that Provodnikov's taking too many punt. Bradley's hitting him a lot, and, and Freddie's concerned. And Provodnikov seems to feel a sense of urgency now as the blood begins to flow. Minute tonight. Good There's body a body shot by Provodnikov. There have been too few of them. Uh, they can say what they want to say about Timothy Bradley, but he just hurt providing the car. He just hurt providing the car. That blood is really starting to spurt out of the eye, and Provodnikov is hurt, but still throwing bombs like that one. Big hook by Provodnikov. Oh, and a right hand as Bradley backs away. But who wants next with Ruslan Provodnikov? He might win. This fight's up in the air still. How do you have it through nine? Okay, Jim. 87, 84, six rounds to three. Timothy Bradley. He's won three rounds in a row. He's busted a guy up. Six to three. Bradley. And now Max We're hitting this guy once in a while and, and hurting him. But Max is right now. And I'm like. You're close to stopping it. Is that because you feel your fighter is being damaged? I'm a little worried about him, but I... about the cut or about the piece taken? Too many punches. Thanks, Freddie. You agree with Freddie? Guys, starting to. Oh, good. They're thinking of stopping it just Bradley's corner. This is a brutal fight. High punishment fight for both fighters. No, for this though. When the fight is over. We're back to the first round. Watch the hour. Rules interpretation experts. Not, not it appears rules. that it would have. If I were a judge, I'd have given Provodnikov a 10-8 round. Clearly. He goes down. He was badly hurt. Right hand lands for Provodnikov. No, but Provodnikov has some heart. Oh, they both do. Big yes, left sir. hook for Provodnikov. We knew. We, but we didn't know Provodnikov had one, too. Come on. Let's go, guys. Move. Freddy Roach issues a mandate to his fighter. You have to show me in this round Fox. that you're worthy of staying in the fight. You mentioned win or lose, who wants next with Provodnikov? Absolutely. Bring him back. He heard Freddy very smartly attack his body right away. Good body shot. Four body Bradley. shots by Bradley. Hammering Provodnikov around the waistband. Oh, good shot. Big left hook by Provodnikov. Bradley better get out of, off those ropes and out of that corner. This is where Bradley gets in trouble when he starts trading like this with yeah, him. Yeah, it is. But I don't know if uh, Provodnikov really can hurt him anymore. Huh. I wouldn't definitely show him the ability to do it throughout this fight. But I think Bradley's starting to hurt him more than he's hurting Bradley now. Again. Although cut man back. Right hand over the top for Provodnikov. Roy, no, 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 no. 
even now as Bradley gets the better of it, it feels Kov's hurting Bradley with everything, jabs and everything. No, he's not hurting him at all now because he's hit him high on the head, Bradley much at all. It's the ones right on the chin that are bothering him. And Provodnikov has not hit him on the chin this complete round. Good with all those shots. That's another way Bradley compares to Evander Holyfield. Big time. Copy box numbers entering the last round. Bradley's landed 337 of 940 shots, 203 out of 611. So Bradley has the numerical ability to hurt Bradley on the way in. Not just when Bradley's exchanging like this. Good left hook by Bradley. Amazing display of heart by both fighters. Tim you Brad. don't see many. And the crowd begins to chant Bradley Bradley. He's won some fans here tonight. That's for sure. Body Provodnikov nails him up. We've seen Bradley show multi-dimension to his game. Oh, big left hook by Provodnikov. He got him again. Bradley almost went down. Somehow stayed up. Part of a champion, son. Well, that was a left hook of a champion from A right hand by Provodnikov. Bradley better hold here. 30 seconds to go. He better hold. Bradley reaches out and grabs. One. <laughs> One shot could put him down here. And out. Oh. There's a right hand that lands again. One more time. Better hold him. Provodnikov is dead tight, though. The ropes keep Bradley up. He might. Ah! That's a knockdown. Two. That is a knockdown. Three. But Four. the clock is going to bring Five. it into the fight. Six. If Bradley can get up and stay Seven. up. Hey, come here. You all right? Let's go. Unbelievable. It's a wow. Rocky movie. That was Rocky. Wow. What a spectacular fight. What an amazing. Here you see Provodnikov land a beautiful overhand right, right over the top of Bradley's jab. Him to Bradley land one of my favorite combinations. Left hook to the head, then down to the body. Not many fighters throw that punch, and usually the guys. He go, Provodnikov landed a beautiful left hook coming in. That hurt Timothy Bradley. That started the mayhem in this round. Then these guys just went once again back to Desert Storm type of a war. You couldn't ask for a better fight. Now here's round 12. Let's take a look at what happened here. Thank you very much, Steve Weisfeld. There's the right hand that knocked Bradley back into the ropes and started the big rally in round 12. There's the left hook that knocked Bradley into the other ropes. And in both of those instances, the referee had the option of ruling that the ropes had kept Bradley up. And then eventually, Bradley's knee went to the canvas, and that clearly became the knockdown. Uh, Jim, you see that uh, Bradley got hit by a big right hand. There later, Bradley goes down, and the referee, the referee certainly could have ruled that a knockdown, but he didn't, and a judge can't call it a knockdown on his own. I actually scored the first two rounds, 10-9 uh, for Provodnikov, and I'd be surprised if all three judges didn't score the first two rounds for Provodnikov. Yes, but but Steve, you didn't score either of those two rounds 10-8? Okay, good. The, if you look at the totality of the first two rounds, I don't think there was enough to score 10-8 for Provodnikov. I think Bradley did enough to bring it to 10-9. And Steve, let me press you on one point. You said Pat Russell could have ruled that a knockdown. In your view, should he have ruled it a knockdown? Yeah, I think, I think there was enough uh, causation. I think that um, he certainly could have ruled it a knockdown, yes. So then you're saying he took a point away from Provetnikov that would have been his. For right uppercut, and he follows it, I think, with another jab or two. With a hook, rather. Out. Here you see Provetnikov come right over the jab with the overhand right. Tim was throwing the overhand right, a right hand at the same time. What a great shot. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled 12 rounds, we go to the scorecard to determine a winner. Judges Denkin and Cantu turn in identical scorecards of 114 to 113. And Judge Geis Sr. scores it 115 to 112. All three in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision.
and still WBO welterweight champion of the world, Desert Storm, Timothy.